Greetings to all. What is new criticism? Criticism is different from new criticism. New criticism is an American movement developed in the mid of 20th century and uh, developed by promulgated by John Crow Ransom uh, in his famous in his famous work The New Criticism. And uh, in a new criticism text is everything text itself is the source of meaning close reading of the text is called new criticism words on page are called new criticism and according to thomas stearns eliot t s eliot t s eliot is, uh, is very prominent in prominent in new criticism and he says lemon squeezing Criticism is called new criticism. So basically, it's a reaction against reader response theory, and it's also similar with Russian formalism. So, in expressionism, writer is the source of meaning. New critics reject the idea, and even in reader response theory, reader is the source of meaning, and then. new critics reject the idea and even structuralism structure is the source of meaning again they reject the idea and uh, what they say they say text is the source of meaning text speaks in the form of meaning text is everything text is self sufficient system and uh, important uh, authors important writers in new criticisms are john crow ransom uh, w k wimsett and bradsley kalint blue uh, kalint brook uh, is also here in new criticism and uh, robert warren penn is also here t s eliot a very prominent name in new criticism is also here and i a richard and he has written an important work the meaning of meaning along with uh, w c odgin and uh, yes t s eliot is very prominent in new criticism and he has written tradition and individual talent an essay in 1919 and uh, he has also written uh, hamlet and his problem essay in 1919 and in which he has introduced a concept objective correlative and according to clint brook what is objective correlative objective correlative is the only way of expressing emotion and uh, what the main idea given by t s eliot a chain uh, a set of event a chain of event a set of situation a chain of events which shall be the formula of uh, particular emotions and the idea given by t s eliot and uh, uh, yes i have already told you new critics say text is the source of meaning yes and i have already told you uh, new criticism is similar with russian formalism russian formalism is in uh, is in russia and started uh, started in russia and uh, new criticism is started in america new criticism is an american movement and uh, both movement are same even formalism form and content is everything then same is the case with new criticism uh, text is the source of meaning and uh, text is the combination of form and content where there is reader uh, where there is writer they reject the idea of reader and writer yes w k wimsett and bradsley is also here in new criticism and both has both have promulgated uh, different terms including uh, intentional fallacy and effective fallacy and what is fallacy mistake in thinking that keeps us away from reality is called fallacy and uh, 
we can never understand the movement of writers writing we can never believe this is what we call uh, intentional fallacy we can never understand the intentions of writer while writing a poem writing a drama so the concept was uh, the concept is given by w k wimsett and n c bradsley uh, in his essay the verbal icon written in 1954 and uh, where there is a writer there is an if intentional fallacy and where there is a reader this is what we call effective fallacy even we can never understand the feeling of a reader while reading a poem and uh, this is the idea and this is what we call effective fallacy so i have already told you mistake in thinking that keeps us away from reality is called fallacy so again i am repeating text is everything close reading of the text and uh, uh, text itself is the source of meaning is called new criticism and both the movement russian formalism and new criticism are same uh, formalists say form and content uh, is everything and uh, new critics say text is everything so Uh, literary devices plot irony paradox simile metaphor images symbols uh, uh, all the things create meaning in the text so yes jock derrida has his own point of view regarding meaning language is the most slippery thing in the world and uh, there are no fixed meaning in the text and what new critics say text itself is the source of meaning close reading of the text is called new criticism so i hope uh, you people got it well so if you have any question regarding new criticism or uh, regarding russian formalism you may ask in comment section thank you